Hi SD fans and welcome back to the channel. If you caught our video a couple of weeks back, you will have seen we had a bit of fun and collated a list of the must watch dive movies from the past few decades. Well, in that list I concentrated on fictional stories, but as there are plenty of cracking non-fiction dive films out there, I thought it was only right to do another video focusing on them. So as before, break out the beers, grab a popcorn and tune in. The perfect way to while away a few hours when you aren't actually going diving yourself. Dive movies are a great way to spend a few hours when you're not actually underwater yourself. And while the fictional stuff is all good fun, I'm talking the deep into the blue, fool's gold and a few of the Bond movies, there have been some amazing non-fiction dive films over the years, soon to be joined by Ron Howard's Hollywood treatment of the Thai cave rescue, 13 Lives. Still can't quite get my head around Viggo Mortensen and Colin Farrell as Rick Stanton and John Valanthan, but it's sure to be a belter if his Apollo 13 movie is anything to go by. So we thought it would be a bit of fun to collate a list of some of the must-watch non-fiction, or at least factually based, dive films. Let's see if your favourites are on the list. Jack, my friend. How are you? Enzo? I leave you swimming and 20 years later you're still in the water. The Big Blue. Luke Besson might be better known these days for his action fodder like Leon, Taken, Lucy and Anna. But way back in 1988 he directed what has become a cult classic. Undoubtedly the most successful French film of the 1980s, The Big Blue follows the friendship and rivalry between two champion freedivers, Jacques Mayol and Enzo Mallorca, although the latter was renamed Molinari for the film. It was shot in the clear warm waters of Greece, and is acknowledged as being heavily fictionalised and dramatised. The two divers were not even direct competitors for instance, but hey, it's a movie at the end of the day. Chief Sunday, we have every cook and shine boy in this camp thinking they'll be next to try a stunt like this. So you listen up. Don't bring him up till he stops moving. He's near dead now, sir. Not till he stops moving, Chief. Give it up, cookie. You go in the shock down there, you might not wake up. Come on now, this ain't worth dying for. My name is Boat Cement, second class. Call for ship. I am a Navy diver. Bring him up! I got him. Carry him home. Taylor! Disregard that order! Taylor! Taylor! Chief Sunday! Effective immediately! I am relieving you of your duties! Do you hear me, Chief? Hold on, Mike. Hold on, Mike. Men of Honor. Now, we mentioned this film in our last video. Okay, it's not scuba diving, but this true story of Carl Bruchier's struggle against racism to become the first African American diver in the US Navy is gripping stuff. Cuba Gooding Jr. does a fine job as Bruchier, and even though some of the standout scenes in this 2000 film were, shall we say, an embellishment of the truth, it stood the test of time well and worth a watch. 
When he fights back to fitness after losing a leg and being fitted with a prosthetic limb, you'll be cheering as he finally walks 12 steps in a Mark V dive suit to be reinstated to active duty. Robert De Niro provides his usual scene sealing showmanship as his hard as nails trainer officer, who apparently was a composite character of several different people. Siitä sitten tuli sellainen ongelmien vyöry, että tuli semmoinen vaan mieleen, että ne jää kaikki sinne nyt. Diving into the unknown. Released in 2016, this film is certainly one to put you off cave diving for life. It follows a team of experienced technical divers as they risk their own lives on a mission to bring back the bodies of their two teammates, who failed to return on a previous dive in a cave system in Norway. The official recovery operation was called off by the Norwegian and British authorities after being deemed too dangerous, and the police closed the caves leaving the rest of the team to embark on a secret mission to retrieve the bodies themselves. They're accompanied by a documentary film crew who capture the epic mission on film, using plenty of footage from helmet cameras that were worn by the divers. I was hoping I was pulling Chris in, but in my heart of hearts I knew I wasn't. Um, I knew there was nothing on the end. Hot water hose came in first. Broken and tattered at the end. And I had another couple of wraps of umbilical to pull in before a broken end of his gas hose came in. Now that is making a quite an immense noise. I put my hand on the regulator to turn it off. You'd never ever turn a diver's gas off when he's in the water. It's tantamount to killing him. Last Breath. This is one of the most suspenseful films you can watch, and it tells the true story of a deep sea diver stranded on the bottom of the North Sea in 2012. Commercial diver Chris Lemons ended up with his umbilical cable, which supplies his breathing gas, the hot water for his heating in his suit, the power for his light, and the radio link to the surface, were all severed when the support vessel shifted position. He's left trapped 100 metres below the surface with just a small amount of air in his emergency backup tank. What makes Last Breath so gripping is that it combines genuine footage and audio recorded at the time on the divers' radios and body cameras with well-shot reconstructed scenes. Even though, when you watch it, you know that he makes it in the end, the scenes where you see him lying, seemingly lifeless, on the bottom are real heart-in-your-mouth stuff. Perhaps not the best film to watch if you're contemplating going into commercial diving, though. There are some other movies which, while being fictional stories, are rooted in more realistic scenarios than some of those in our previous video on dive movies. These include The Dive, which is a taut Norwegian thriller from 1989 that revolves around two commercial divers who get trapped in a diving bell on the seabed after an accident and then the subsequent race against time to find a way to bring them back to the surface. There is also Pressure from 2015, which tells a similar story, this time with four divers stuck in a stricken bell off the coast of Somalia. And of course we've got to mention Open Water from 2003, which proclaims on the poster based on a true story. It is, very loosely, based on the disappearance of Tom and Eileen Lonergan in 1998 who were left behind by a dive boat visiting the Great Barrier Reef. However, given that apart from the fact they were left behind by the boat when it returned to shore, nothing else is really known what befell the Lonergans. So the vast majority of the movie is pure speculation. 
and it's pretty pants as a movie anyway, to be honest. And let's not forget some of the documentary films out there which deserve a watch, including Blackfish, which focuses on the controversial captivity of killer whales, The Cove, which sees activists infiltrate Taji in Japan, which is a site of horrific dolphin hunts and captures, and Sea Spiracy, which, while flawed in many ways, does raise awareness of some of the issues with the global fishing industry. Is your favourite diving movie on the list? Do you know any other must-watch non-fiction dive films we should include? Leave your comments below, and if you've got a question, fire away. We can't answer it, maybe someone in our community will be able to. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our ever-growing playlist for more educational and inspirational videos. As always, stay safe, and if you're going diving, enjoy.